tribal wars have ravaged nearly every crypto group. And the study of crypto tribalism has led me to spend time with groups from Ethereum and Hex to Ripple and Cardano to Bitcoin Core and BSD. And that's why now I'm focused on BCH. It seems as though no one has been hit harder by the effects of tribalism than the Bitcoin Cash community. And as BCH faces its third contentious hard fork in as many years, many are wondering if the struggling chain and the community who support it can survive. So can they? Well, the recent introduction of SLP technology might mean that they can. And that's why popular podcaster Ken Bozak agreed to sponsor this video and the accompanying article so that I could teach you about it. Thanks, Ken. So what is SLP? What purposes does it serve? How can we use it? And what are its wider implications? Keep watching, you'll find out. SLP stands for Simple Ledger Protocol. And what you really need to know about it is that that is what enables fast and almost free transactions. It also enables permissionless building of simple tokens on top of BCH. What are some reasons a person or a company would want to create a simple token? Simple tokens are easy to build. They cost fractions of a penny to send or spawn, and creating them requires little to no development skills. But before I get into the tutorial on exactly how to do it, let's go over some of their use cases. First are meme coins, like hugs. A vast majority of the over 10,000 simple tokens built on BCH are memes. They're designed to have no tradable value. For that reason, creating and sending them on SLP just makes sense and offers a significant advantage to something like Ethereum, where gas prices and the Solidity learning curve are incredibly high. Next, customized tokens. As more and more people embrace a self-driven, entrepreneurial, gig economy lifestyle, it's highly likely that we'll see an increase of personal tokenization. Customized tokens could allow people to sell or trade their time and services once a decentralized SLP exchange, or DEX, is created. But more on that later. Third, stable tokens. Though controversial, cryptocurrency's original stablecoin, Tether, has already been built on and functions on SLP. This allows users of the SLP-enabled wallet to easily switch into and out of what some view as a more stable asset for transferring or holding value. Four, multi-layer constructions. In addition to building single-layer tokens, SLP facilitates more complex constructions by allowing users to build tokens on top of each other. The mineable to SLP token MistCoin is a great example of this. Although it's seldom used now, the implications of this technological innovation may be beyond our current comprehension. Five, rewards tokens. Offering rewards points that can be used for discounts or free goods and services is one of the oldest tricks in the marketer's handbook. Nearly every chain from Starbucks to Bloomingdale's already awards them. But issuing these points and tokens on SLP would make keeping track of them easier. And in conjunction with an SLP DEX, it would allow token holders to freely trade them for other things that they might have more use for. Six, securities tokens. Along these same lines as rewards, SLP allows for the construction of tokenized securities, like dividend tools. Though possible, this option is not yet being taken advantage of. Seven, non fungible tokens. NFTs are the talk of the cryptoverse lately. Many argue that NFTs will be the catalyst that spurs mass awareness, thus bringing them to BCH where artists can create them for fractions of what they cost on some competing chains might be what sparks community adoption of Bitcoin Cash. When I found out that you could create NFTs using SLP tech, I nearly jumped for joy. Does this excite you as much as it does me? And do you want to see a video of me explaining how to make a NF an NFT on Bitcoin Cash? Let me know. So what's up with the SLP DEX? Okay, one final thing I wanna talk about before I get to showing you how to make your own simple token is 
I want to briefly talk about the construction and timeline for a decentralized SLP exchange. Although the development team has been extremely tight-lipped about their progress, many anticipate DToken will be live later this month. Although there's no way to know for sure if the project will be ready to launch, if it does, that could spell a new chapter in the history books for Bitcoin Cash. Now, for the reason you're all watching, to learn how to create your own simple token. So I've tried a few different methods, and the one that I found the easiest by far was from mint.bitcoin.com. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. If you're going to use the, if you're going to use SLPs to create NFTs, you're going to have to use something like Electron Wallet. But this works for our purposes of today. Okay. So you're going to visit mint.bitcoin.com and you can either choose to import a wallet or to create a new one. So I'm going to choose to create a new one and I'm going to open this up and right here it's got an SLP address. I'm going to change this to a Bitcoin Cash address so that I can deposit some funds and use them. So to send the funds, I'm going to open my bitcoin.com mobile wallet and click send, and then I'm gonna scan the QR code on my computer. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna send 10 cents because that's more than what I need. And that's the second step, is funding your wallet. All right, continue, and I'm gonna click, slide and click send. Okay, so that fee, and you can see it's already there. Okay, so the transfer fee of that was point zero 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 two six six BCH, which equates to less than a tenth of a penny at present values. And like you saw, it arrived almost instantly. Okay, the next step is to create. So I'm going to click create on the side panel here, and I'm going to create a token. So I've already made a meme coin, so maybe my next token should be something that someday I could use for, I don't know, selling hours to people who maybe want writing or something like that. So I'm going to make the token symbol hours. And, or sorry, yeah, H O U R S. Then I'm going to name the token hours. And how many decimal places? It can go up to nine. I'm going to put eight. Quantity? I don't know. 10 million? Fixed supply. I don't want there to be a fixed supply because if I want to add more, I want to. You can add additional features here like token icon. You can drag and drop or upload an image. And you can also add a white paper or the document hash to a white paper and the website if you have one. But since I don't need anything that fancy, I'm just going to hit create token. Sure, I want to token with an icon. All right, there we go. So the token was created. And now you can see it right there in my token. So now you can see how easy it was to create your own cryptocurrency on SLP. So, how do I list my simple token on CC TipBot? Once you've created your simple token, you may wonder how you're going to distribute it. You could do what I did initially with Hugs and ask people to share their SLP QR codes for a more custom experience, but if you, can, if you plan on circulating a large supply, you'll probably want something that you can automate. The CC tip bot isn't perfect. Due to a lottery program, tokens deposited in the CC tip wallet may be subject to redistribution. Additionally, from my limited experience with it, it doesn't always work and it doesn't send confirmations to let those who've been tipped know that their coins or tokens have been received. A recent poll indicates that about 70% of respondents would like to see notifications turned on for the tip bot. So maybe that's something that someone could look into or let me know something about if you do. All right, so I'm looking for an alternative SLP tip bot, but I haven't found anything yet. And if you know something, please let me know. Okay, well, it's not perfect, but I'm still comfortable using it for distributing hugs because they don't have any monetary value. So if you feel the same way, here's how. The first step is going to be going to cctip.io. You can find a link in the article that I wrote or in the description here. So 
I'm going to log in with Twitter. From myccTip.io, I click Twitter. And I'm logged in. Cool. So I've already deposited some Bitcoin Cash here, um, but you can deposit Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, or BSB. All right. All right, after you've created your account, one really important thing that you need to do in CC Tip is to create a payment password. So to do that, you're gonna click on settings right here, and right here, click payment password. Now, I already have mine set, and I don't wanna show you what it is, so I'm not gonna click there, but if you're just setting up your account, you click change, type it in, and then you're set. Okay, so now list your coin. Click list your coin at the top, Select which account you want, to, you want to associate. And then for this, we're gonna click SLP. So the token ID, we're gonna go get from mint.bitcoin.com and copy, and then go back to CC tip. I'm gonna write it in, paste. The symbol, automatically imported. And then I'm gonna type in my email address. Then I'm gonna scroll down. And I have the option of entering a website, Twitter account, Telegram account, but I'm not going to do any of that for now. I'm just going to hit next. All right. So there are four social media platforms that CC Tipbot supports. They're Twitter, Telegram, Reddit, and Discord. They're one penny per year each, so I'm going to go ahead and enable tipping on all four of them. Pro tip, make sure that you change this payment coin because USDT is not the SLP version and transferring four cents of tether is not fun or easy. So because I already have some BCH deposited in my CC tip wallet, I'm gonna choose BCH for payment. I'm gonna click that I've read and agreed with the CC tip listing protocol, and then I'm gonna click submit. It's got a CAPTCHA, so I'm going to type in the code, and then I'm gonna click confirm. My application has been submitted. All right, next, I'm gonna to go to my email. I'm gonna refresh, and there it is. I'm gonna click this and, and it says I've passed the test. So I'm gonna to go to pay. There we go. Click pay. I'm gonna type in my payment password, and then I'm gonna click confirm. The payment has been completed. Okay, so the last step is going to be to deposit those tokens into your CC tip bot so that you can disperse them. So to do that, you're going to go to your balance and then you're going to need to search tokens. I'm going to type in hours. There we go. And then I'm going to click deposit. I've got a deposit address. I'm going to copy that address. Then I'm going to go back over to Bitcoin to to mint.bitcoin.com, and I'm going to click send. Paste in my SLP address, and I'm gonna send the max. Send. Transaction successful. I hit refresh over here just to make sure that, that all went through, and there they are. From here, you can play with the bot and figure out how you want to conduct your giveaways with your custom SLP token. All right, so what's next? Well, with the official hard fork still a month away, Bitcoin Cash isn't in the clear just yet. The advent of SLP tech implementation on BCH could help to break down some of the tribal barriers that separate the Bitcoin Cash community from the larger crypto sphere. What do you think? Will you use it? Will you try it? Will you tell your friends? Um, I want to thank again my sponsor for this piece, Ken Bozak. I also want to give additional thanks to Colin and Sad and JT, um, who's Block Party SH on Twitter, for taking the time to answer my questions. You know that I can be a little childlike and rapid fire them. So, really, really appreciate your uh, tolerance, guys. Um, and also help correct my misunderstandings. So if you've enjoyed this content and you want to see more like it, please help me out by liking, subscribing, following, and sharing so more people can see it. 
I'm nerdgirl007 on Twitter. And by the way, just because I've been doing these about Bitcoin Cash doesn't mean that I can't do them about other for other tokens and projects as well. Feel free to reach out. At the time being, there's nothing stopping me from working on something else. All right, guys. Have an awesome day. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.